So you downloaded a fire melody and you really like it. But unfortunately, the instrument used to play the melody sounds terrible. You know, it's like a burger from McDonald's with a pickle inside. Don't eat the pickle, it's terrible. <laughs> You've been trying to recreate the melody for hours and hours and you just can't get the notes right. Stop worrying right away, because in this tutorial I will teach you how to turn any melody sample into MIDI notes. First, we're gonna take a look at this simple melody. We need to send the MIDI notes to a pattern and to do that, create a new one on top. You can call it whatever you want. Then drag it underneath the sample. Now head over to the channel rack. Open up a VST to your liking. Keep in mind, we're gonna send the notes of the melody to that VST. Next, go back to the playlist. Double click the melody and this will open up the sampler where you can see all the properties. Right click the sample on the bottom and choose edit in audio editor. This will open up Edison with the sample. Next, click the wrench tool and choose convert to score and dump to piano roll. Or you can just right click click on the sample, then tools, and here you can find the same option. And because we had the VST selected, the MIDI notes will now be in this piano roll. And that is awesome, but we're not done yet, so keep paying attention. Even for a simple melody like this, FL makes a few mistakes that we need to fix. For example, sometimes FL Studio will put the notes in the wrong octave. Now there's a simple fix for that. Just hit Ctrl plus A in your keyboard to select all the notes. Then hit Ctrl and arrow up or down. That way you can transpose the melody in octaves. Minor mistakes like double notes are also very common. You can just right click them to delete them. Now this is the easy part, but what if your melody has chords and a melody in one sample? Then we need to do something else. This is the melody I'm gonna work with. As you can hear, the sample has chords and a melody. What we need to do is separate the chords from the melody so that we can start to investigate both of them. This works best with samples that have a low to mid range chord progression and a melody that sits in the higher frequencies. First, double click the melody again, then send the melody to a mixer track, for example, mixer one. Open up an equalizer and create a high pass filter. That way you can cut away everything until you can only hear the melody in the higher frequencies. Try to kill as much of the chords as you can, but at the same time maintain the melody. Now head over to the playlist, consolidate the sample by pressing Ctrl Alt plus C on your keyboard. Double click it to open up the sampler. Right click the waveform and again open up the sample in Edison. In here click the wrench tool and under channels choose convert left channel to mono. That way it will be easier for FL to detect the notes. Then go to the wrench tool again and click convert to score and dump the piano roll. Now clean up the piano roll just like we did with the first melody and now click the subscribe button because that would really help me Yes, that, that would really help me. We're gonna find out the chords of the melody. To do that, go back to the equalizer and create a high cut filter. This time, try to kill off the melody while maintaining as much of the chords as possible. Now we need to find a way to transform these into MIDI notes. I got you. Consolidate the audio clip again, Control alt c on your keyboard by the way, and then double click it. Now transpose the melody 24 semitones up. Now it sounds like this. Open up Wave Candy and in the Spectrum tab set the maximum resolution to 4096 bands. Increase the scale to make the spectrum more visible and let the chords play. Now click the freeze button. As you can see, the spectrum freezes and this makes it easier to read. It looks a bit weird, but here you can see all the notes that are being played in our melody. Just move your cursor over them and then you can identify the notes on the bottom right. Now you can throw these notes in the piano roll and put it together with the melody. But there's one more problem, the melody isn't mixed yet and that can result in a bad sounding mix. You're in luck my friend because I got a video right here where you can learn everything about mixing your beats from start to finish. 